Thanks for watching. And have you ever wondered what sine of pi over 5 is? Watch this video to find out. In particular, let theta be pi over 5. And what makes this work is really the following, because if you consider 3 theta, just like that, then it's the same thing as pi minus 2 theta. So 3 times this angle is 180 minus 2 times that angle. So then 3 theta is pi minus 2 theta. And then we can apply sine to both sides. So sine of 3 theta is sine of pi minus 2 theta. But then, sine of pi minus x is the same thing as sine of x. So sine of 3 theta is sine of 2 theta. And then what we can do, we can use our formulas for sine of 3 theta and sine of 2 theta. So sine of 3 theta, I believe, is 3 sine of theta. The addition, angle addition formulas, so minus 4 sine cubed of theta. And sine of 2 theta is 2 sine times cosine. So 2 sine of theta, cosine theta. And then the cool thing we can do here, we can cancel out the sines. So this and then this becomes squared, and then we get this. And in the end, what we have is 3 minus 4 sine squared theta. Not cubed, but squared. Theta equals 2 cosine theta. And now, well, we have a cosine here, and we can actually rewrite all of this in terms of cosine by using sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. So you get 3 minus 4, 1 minus cosine squared equals 2 cosine theta. And you see, this eventually just simplifies to a quadratic equation in cosine. Because what we eventually end up getting is a four-link equation. 4 cosine squared theta minus 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals 0. And then using the beautiful quadratic formula, what we end up getting is cosine theta is minus b. So 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared minus 4 times 4 times minus 1, and then over 2a, so over 2 times 4, and then this becomes 2 plus or minus, I believe, square root of 20 over 8, but square root of 20 is 2 square root of 5, and so in the end we have 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 4. However, 1 minus square root of 5 over 4, that is negative, but cosine of pi over four, 5 is positive, and so we end up having that cosine of theta is 1 plus square root of 5 over 4. So interestingly, we also found cosine of pi over 5. And the question is, what about sine of pi over 5? Well, you then just use cosine squared minus plus sine squared equals 1. So once again, cosine of pi over 5 is 1 plus square root of 5 over 4. And now sine of pi over 5. That is, again, sine of theta, and then you just use square root of 1 minus cosine squared theta, and that becomes square root of 1 
minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 4 squared. Now, 4 squared is 16, so that just becomes square root of 16 minus 1 plus square root of 5 squared. So 1 plus 2 square root of 5 plus 5 over 16. And then we end up getting, I believe, square root of, so 16 minus 1 is 15, minus 5 is 10, so 10 minus 2 square root of 5 over 16. And so what is our final answer? 10 minus 2 square root of 5 over 4. So quite interesting, square root of square root in some sense. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.